Hello, this is going to be a quick tutorial video on how to get started with Flex Utility Premium. All right, so the very first thing we need to do after we have the app installed, we need to go to Settings, Accessibility, Flex Utility Premium. Uh, I already have it turned on, but you need to go there and turn it on. You need to allow it to display over other apps. Go back and turn on the service. And now we have the service enabled. Let's go back to the app. Okay. As you can see at the very bottom, the text uh, now says all set proceed to Amazon Flex offer screen. And that is how you get the overlay button to show up. But first we're going to set filters. Uh, we're going to start with station code filter. And so let's say, for example, we only want to get uh, two types of blocks. We want to get logistics. So we're going to enter our logistics station code as it appears on your Amazon Flex app. So in my Amazon Flex app, um, my logistics station code appears as DPD1, all capitals. So I'm going to put DPD1. And what this does, uh, this ensures that I will only accept blocks with that station code. Now let's say I want more than one station code. Let's say I also want to accept Prime Now. What you can do, just separate it with a comma, uh, an optional space, you don't have to put the space, and the station code for my Prime Now, as it appears on my Flex app, is UOR1. So I'm gonna put that in, R1. And now what we have is um, the Flex Utility Premium app will only accept blocks that contain these two station codes and you got to make sure that you put them in as they appear on your Amazon Flex app um, it's capital sensitive so if they appear in capitals on your Flex app you got to put them in with capitals okay now we're gonna go down here and we're gonna click mode and refresh the view and as you can see mode get any hour blocks with DPD1 and UOR1 Okay, but let's say I only want to get four hour and three hour blocks with these two station codes. Let's go to the hours filter. Let's put a four and then put a three. And what this does is um, with the station code filter, um, Flex Utility Premium is only going to accept blocks that contain the station codes that I entered and it's only going to accept four and three hour blocks with those station codes because I set the hours filter. Let's set that up. Let's refresh the view again by clicking on the mode text at the bottom. And as you can see, mode get four and three hour blocks with DPD1 and UOR1. Now let's say we have another optional filter. They're all optional actually. If you just leave them blank, that means you'll accept any type of block but we're gonna go to the start time filter. And let's say I only want to accept blocks that start at 10.30 and 11. So you just put 10.30 comma 11. Uh, 11, zero, zero. Uh, and sorry, I'm, I'm just talking really fast trying to make this video as quick as possible. Um, and we'll set that. Refresh the view. Uh, the time filter doesn't show in the mode right now, but you can uh, be sure it's there. Okay, now let's check the alert sound box. Um, what this will do is, as you're using the overlay button, um, you'll get an alert sound when a block shows up that matches any one of your station code filters that you've set. Okay, and also block log, we're gonna check that. Uh, what that does is it logs information about a block, the time, the pay, the uh, station, the um, uh, all the details that show up about a block in the Amazon Flex app, and that'll show up. So then you go to the navigation drawer, um, which is top left, the three lines, click that. Uh, and what we have here, go ahead and click block log and this is uh, the first entry is an example so the 
uh, block log will log all these details time hour pay block type and the time that you saw the block on your app and you can refresh the view by clicking that uh, floating action button down there at the bottom all right and then we have tutorial which goes through some things um, I'll probably link the video to that button uh, we have theme options let's go okay so we've set everything up let's go to the Amazon flex app real quick okay as you can see our overlay button just showed up and what we do is we go here and, and we press tap um, I actually don't want to accept a block right now and there's a bunch available so we're gonna remove that all right we're gonna change our uh, hours filter to one so I don't actually accept a block okay um, but it will log it so you can see block log um, so what you do after you set everything up you just want to rapidly press on tap and what it's going to do it's going to refresh the screen it's going to filter out blocks it's going to ensure that you only get uh, the type of work that you want uh, based on the station codes filter that you set and the hour filter the time filter um, so what you do as you can see we're getting our block alert because we checked that box we can turn that sound off and now it doesn't make the sound right we're not getting alerts but it did <clears throat> excuse me it did log the blocks as you can see now you go to block log and we've saved all the information about all the blocks that were up in the screen right okay so you install the app you have to enable it and accessibility you set your filters, you enter your staging codes. Uh, you see this, look at the first block here. You see DPD1, that's the station code as it appears on my app. That's the station code if I want to accept these blocks, I enter it into station code. And the reason it didn't accept these blocks is because I have my hours filter set to one. Uh, that's just because I don't want to actually accept the blocks right now. Um, so if you have questions, please feel free to contact me uh, on the Google Plus page. You can go to the navigation drawer and go to give feedback as well, and it'll take you to our Google Plus page. Please feel free to contact me for help, anything you need. Thank you. Uh, hopefully, I hope this app works well for you and you start catching more work, start getting the work that you want and you enjoy that. Thank you very much.